Good morning. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing a-okay. I'm gonna turn video on for our friends on Twitch. Hello, Twitch. This is a hour-long all levels flow class. So listen to your body first and foremost. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. <laughs> None of nothing in this class should hurt. This should not uh, feel painful at all. You might feel uncomfortable, but recognize that that is different than actual pain. That's not what we're going for. Cool. All right, guys. This is Rogue. She's our studio assistant here today. <laughs> studio being my kitchen. Um, and we will all go ahead and get going on our mats. We're going to come into child's pose. Just bringing our big toes to touch knees, splay wide. You can always put on music too on your end. I'm not playing any, so just so you can hear me. But if you'd like to play some, please feel free to. And we'll just start to check in with the body, see how we're doing. Noticing, scanning, observing, taking this time to really tune in. From here, you can stay as you are. If you'd like a little bit of a side body stretch, go ahead, walk the hands over to the right hand side of your mat. Placing the left hand on top of the right, sink those hips back and breathe. Walk the hands back through center, over to the other side, this time placing the right hand on top of the left, sinking those hips back, noticing the gentle side body stretch, noticing those ribs opening up. Walk those hands back through center, pressing into the palms, start to lift those elbows up, taking a more active child's pose, spreading the fingers wide, pressing into the palms, really, really noticing the strength of your arms. Good. And from here, slowly start to press up into a nice tall seat. We'll do a little bit of side body stretching in a seat today. A little bit of a mix up. From here, lift the arms up, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna take a nice gentle twist, taking the arms wide as we twist to the right. That right hand comes back behind your back. Left hand comes in front, tensing up under those fingertips. We just turn the torso all the way to the right, sitting up nice and tall. Inhale through center. And we're just gonna twist the other way, this time bringing the left hand behind the back, right hand in front, just a nice tall twist. Inhale through center. Bind the hands at the top, 
Press the palms up, sit up nice and tall. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And exhale, lean to the right. Feeling your torso stretching. What's nice about doing these seated is that it forces your hip bones to stay on the ground, to stay level. Really making this about the upper body. Inhale through center. And over to the other side. Inhale through center. And release the arms long. All right, go ahead, press up onto all fours. I'll take a few rounds of cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, look up for cow. Exhale, press into the spine, arch and dropping the head down for cats, finding that angry cat shape. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, cow. Exhale, arch the spine, dropping the head down for cat. Inhale, drop the belly, look up, cow. Exhale, arch the spine for cat. Starting to move one breath to one movement at your own pace. Feeling free to pause where you feel like it. Feeling free to move faster where you'd like. I'm just letting it feel good. And find stillness on all fours. Begin to tuck the toes, really feeling the mat gripping as you press up and back, finding down dog. Option here to pedal those feet out, dropping one heel down on the other, shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. Find stillness in your down dog. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Take the feet hip width distance apart. Bend the knees a lot, so much so that your belly rests on your upper thighs. Grab for opposite elbows. Drop the head down. Maybe sway from side to side. Good, go ahead, release any binds that you have. If the arms hang long, find stillness if you were swaying from side to side. Toe, heel the feet together. Slowly start to rise up, one vertebra at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders are the very last things to rise. Mountain pose, all right. Inhale, arms lift, full body stretch. Exhale, fold all the way down. Bending your knees as much as you need to bring those hands all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back, really draw those shoulder blades together, gaze at the top edge of your mat, good. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, again, bending the knees as much as you need to do this. Step one foot back and then the other, finding a high push-up position. From here, lower all the way down to your belly, keeping the palms where they are. Untuck the toes. Press into the palms as you draw shoulder blades together, lifting head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Gaze is still down at your mat for baby cobra. Good. Exhale, lower down. Push back through child's pose. Tuck the toes and push back down dog. And 
look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins or thighs. Flat back. Again, draw those shoulder blades together. Gaze at the top edge of your mat. Good work. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Step both feet back. High push up. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Keep those palms where they are. Untuck the toes. Press into the palms as you draw the shoulder blades together. Baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Push back your child's pose. Tuck the toes and push back down, dog. Good work, guys. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step back to a high push-up position and hold. So you have options here. You can move through that flow that we have been doing, moving to your belly and then through baby cobra. Or you can lower down to a low push-up chaturanga position, finding 90 degrees in your arms. From here, keeping the legs lifted, you can flip to the tops of the feet, press up into up dog for a nice back bend, and then push back to down dog. Either variation is there for you. You can take either flow. You can go back and forth between either flow. You can also skip the flow altogether and just push straight back to down dog. You choose. One is not better than the other. They're just different, depending on what your body needs today. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step or hop both feet back. High to low push up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back, down dog. And look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Good work. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Step or hop both feet back. High to low push up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back, down dog. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. One more time through. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant the palm. Step or hop, both feet back. High to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back, down dog. Three breaths in, down dog. Shifting those weight, that weight back to the feet. Bending your knees as much as you need to have a nice straight spine. It's okay to bend the knees. I know some yogis are Anti-knee bending, I am pro do what your body needs, which for many of us is knee bending. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, drop the seat back as big toes come to touch for chair pose. Weights in the heels. Breathing. 
Relax the shoulder blades down the back. Spark up with those fingertips. Good. For three, two, and one. Fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Hands to shins or thighs. Flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step, hop, or shoot the legs back, high to low push-up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra, you choose. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, the right leg, up and back, three-legged dog. Try to keep those hips square. Good. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant. Turn the back foot 45 degrees, setting up for warrior one. Widen your stance as much as you need. Inhale, arms lift, warrior one. So check in with those feet. You shouldn't feel like you're on a tightrope. So if you need to, again, take your stance wide for support, for stability, go for it. Lift those arms up, hip bones square to the front. Breathe. Big breath in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Taking up space in your warrior two, you might need to spread the feet further apart than they were in warrior one, so you can really sink into this 90 degree angle. Reaching with both of your arms. Relax the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, put the top palm up towards the ceiling. Backhand really lightly on back thigh. Front arm sweeps up and then back. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms, step the foot back, high to low, push up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. And exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back, three-legged dog and hold. Check in with the body. Are your hips square? Good. Step the foot between the hands, plant. Turn the back foot 45 degrees, setting up for warrior one. Inhale, arms lift, warrior one. Relax those shoulder blades down the back. Again, option to widen your stance. No need to feel like you're on a tightrope here. Good, big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. One more big breath in. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Reaching with both of your arms, sinking down into that front knee, 90 degrees. Again, take up space, feeling like a warrior, strong and powerful. Inhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling, backhand really lightly on back thigh. Her arm comes up first, and then back to that space where the wall meets the ceiling, like you're trying to reach, reach, reach for it. Good work, guys. Three, two, one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms, step the foot back high to low push-up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good work, guys. Inhale, arms lift, drop the seat back. Chair pose. Sinking lower for three, two, and one, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step hop or shoot both legs back, high to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. You know where we're going now. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant. Turn the back foot 45 degrees. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling, backhand on back thigh, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms, step the foot back high to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back, three legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant. 
Low lunge, turn the back foot 45 degrees, inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling, back hand on back thigh, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat, plant the palm, step the foot back high to low, push up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Look forward to the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good work, inhale, arms lift, drop the seat back, chair pose and hold. Option to stay just as you are. Option to bring the hands behind your back, sink a little lower and come up onto the tippy toes. Woo, love this variation. For three, two, and one, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palm, step hopper, shoot the legs back, high to low push up. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back, three legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant. Turn the back foot 45 degrees, inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat, plant the palm, step the foot back high to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant. Turn the back foot 45 degrees, inhale to rise. Warrior one. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Inhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling, reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palm, step the foot back high to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Three breaths. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Option here to take a favorite forward fold if you have one. If you don't, Take that pointer finger, that middle finger, those peace sign fingers. Bend your knees as much as you need to bring your hands to your feet. Wrap the peace sign fingers around either of your big toes. Drop head, neck, and shoulders down like you're looking behind you. Take the elbows wide, and then use the strength of your arms to pull yourself further into the fold. Yogi toe bind. And breathe. Slowly release the arms, let them hang long. Toe, heel the feet together. I'm going to take one more forward fold variation. This time sweep the arms behind the back. Clasp for opposite hands or opposite elbows. Gaze is down and back, up at your own belly button or at the wall behind you. And we enjoy a nice shoulder stretch. And just letting it feel good. Releasing the arms, let them hang long. Peel up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Head, neck, and shoulders are the very last things to rise. 
mountain pose. Good work. Bring those big toes to touch again. Preparing once again for our chair pose. Dr lift the arms up first, then drop the seat back. Settling in. Bring the hands together at your heart in prayer. We're going to take a chair pose twist. Take this left elbow to the outer right thigh. Press into the palms as you broaden through the chest to open up. Good work. Press, press, press into those palms, letting the twist happen from the belly, the torso. Can those hip bones be a little bit more square? For three, two, and one. Come back through center, arms lift. Bring those hands back to center at your palm, bringing palms together at your center. Twist to the left, bring this right elbow to that outer left thigh, press, press, press into the palms, broaden through the chest. Hip bone should be square, knee bone should be square. Three, two, and one. Inhale through center, arms lift. And exhale, fold, good work. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the palms, step hop or shoot both legs back, high to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Take a moment to check in with your lunge. Again, no need to feel like you're on a tightrope. You can take your stance a little bit wider. Feeling free to take up space. Relax those shoulder blades down the back. Gaze is straight forward. Good. Always the option to bring your hands to your hips. Keep them lifted with shoulder blades relaxed. Breathing, feeling the strength of your legs. Is this back leg engaged, engaged? Big transition coming up. Arms are going to sweep behind the back as you shift the weight forward, leaning over this front leg. And we begin to shift all of our weight into our front leg, powering up into warrior three with airplane arms. Our nice balance for the day. So, hip bones should be square to the ground, shoulder blades draw together, engage through that back leg, engage through the arms, breathe. For three, for two, and one, hands come to the mat. Bend your knees as much as you need to do this. Once your hands hit the ground, drop head, neck, and shoulders down. Forward fold, half split. That back leg is still lifted. Yes. Just like that. Settling in. A nice stretch for the back of the legs. Exhale, step back to a low lunge with control. Hands are still on the mat. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Really feeling the strength of our legs in this sequence. Arms lift, exhale, open up, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Maybe walk that back foot in an inch or so. Tick tock the arms forward. Front hand reaches down for that front shin, maybe your front thigh, not the knee, anything but the knee. Back arm lifts up. Reach, reach, reach for that ceiling. Really light in this bottom hand. Settling in, triangle pose. Boom. You want this left hip pressing, pressing back. Option to stay just right here. Option to frame your face with both of your arms for power triangle. <sighs> Building more heat. For three, two, and one. Everyone rise up, warrior two. 
Inhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling. Back hands really lightly on back thigh. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms, step the foot back high to low push up. Inhale, up dog, baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, the left leg up and back, three legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge and hold. Checking in on this side. Are your hip bones nice and square? Are you engage through this back leg. Good work, guys. Same hand options here. Everybody sweep the arms behind the back. Shift your chest forward so your weight's over this front foot first. Now we begin to lift that back leg and straighten that front leg for our airplane arms. Warrior three, gaze is down at the mat. Lift, lift, lift through that back leg. Strong back lifted leg, strong arms. Gaze down at the mat, breathe, I know. Are your hips nice and square? For three, for two, and one. Hands come down the mat. Bend your knee as much as you need to bring your hands to the mat. Drop head, neck, and shoulders down as that back leg lifts up. Settling in, forward fold half split. I failed to mention on the other side, you have options here. You always have options. You're always in control. You can wrap your hands around this planted foot's ankle. You can plant your palms and take handstand hops. You can just stay just as you are. Slowly step this foot back, finding a low lunge with control. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Feeling these legs work for you, yes. Big breath in. Exhale, open up. Warrior two. Now you remember where we went on the other side. We're going there again here. Straighten the front leg, maybe walk this back foot in. I don't know two or three inches. Tick tock those arms forward as you send this back hip bone back. Drop that front hand down lightly on the front shin. Back arm lifts up. <sighs> Triangle. Letting the legs work for you here, right? This is not a, a pose where we just kind of dump into the legs. A lot is happening, engaging through the belly, engaging through the legs. Reaching, reaching up through the arms. Option for that power triangle, I know. Framing that head for three, for two, and one, rise up. Rebend in that front knee, warrior two. Flip the top palm up towards the ceiling, backhand lightly on back thigh, reverse your warrior. And exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palm, step the foot back high to low push up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Look forward to the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good work, guys. Inhale, arms lift, drop the seat back, chair pose. Hands come to center. We find that twist again. Twist to the left. Inhale through center, twist to the right. 
Inhale through center. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands push under thighs, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms, step, hop, or shoot the legs back. High to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, the right leg up and back, three legged dog. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, hands sweep behind the back to prepare. Inhale. And exhale, launch off, finding that airplane arms, warrior three. One full round of breath. Exhale, hands to the mat, forward fold, half split. Remember, bending your knee as much as you need to do this. Exhale, step the back foot back lightly, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg, step that back foot in. Exhale, tick tock the arms forward, triangle pose. Inhale to rise, reeve in the front leg, warrior two. Exhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling. Inhale to prepare. And reverse that warrior. Exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms. Step the foot back high to low push up. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Three legged dog. Good work, guys. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, plant, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, sweep the palms behind the back to prepare, shift the weight into that front foot. Inhale, and launch off. Bound, I'm sorry, airplane arms, warrior three. Breathing through it. Exhale, hands to the mat, bend the knee. Forward fold, half split. Exhale, step the foot back with control, low lunge. Inhale, arms lift, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg, step the back foot in to prepare. Tick tock those arms forward and exhale, drop down, triangle. Inhale to rise. Rebend the front knee, warrior two. Exhale, flip the top palm up towards the ceiling. Reverse your warrior. Big breath in. And exhale, hands to the mat. Plant the palms, step the foot back high to low push up or all the way to the belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, push back down dog. Inhale. Drop the knees down, find child's pose. Big toes come to touch. Knees splay wide, forehead meets the mat, and you breathe. Good work, guys. Take a few moments to check in. All right, we started class in child's pose. How does this child's pose feel in comparison? And slowly rise up into a seat. From here, we're going to move into our back bend today. We have camel pose. So for camel pose, go ahead and come to standing on your knees. From here, we sweep the arms behind the back. Fingers can face up or down. It's totally up to you. One is not better than the other. It just depends on what feels best in your body 
today, right? So that might be different than the last time you took camel pose. Totally cool. From here, draw the shoulder blades together, press into the palms, chest puffs up on the inhale, and on the exhale, press with the palms into your lower back bones, those hip bones, drop the head back. It might be really subtle, and you breathe. And after your third breath, find a seat. Just noticing how that shape made you feel. It's a heart opener, a back bend. A lot is happening in that shape. Pretty common for a lot of emotions to arise. We'll move through it two more times. Inhale, rise back up to standing on your knees. Sweep the arms behind your back, fingers face up or down. Inhale, puff up the test, chest, draw those shoulder blades together. And exhale, press into the palms, settling in three breaths. Always the option to go further and reach for those back ankles. And I'm gonna stick right here. And after that third breath, you find a seat once again. Maybe you close your eyes, just observing the body. And when you're ready, rise up to uh, standing on your knees. Five breaths this time. Sweep the arms behind the back, fingers face up or down. Draw those shoulder blades together, puff, puff, puff the chest up, and then sink into it by pressing the palms into the lower back. Five breaths. of the shape. Find child's pose. This time bringing your knees together. Forehead meets the mat. Creating a little cocoon. If this is uncomfortable, this variation of child's pose, just take another variation of child's pose that is comfortable for you. Notice how that shape made you feel. Press up into a nice tall seat. And from here we'll move on to all fours. Setting up for pigeon pose. If you'd like to take pigeon pose on your back, go ahead and go there. I'll walk you through it after I walk through the traditional variation. So for traditional pigeon, we draw our right knee behind our right wrist. Swing that right foot as far over as it'll go. It's okay if it doesn't go parallel. Start to shimmy this back leg back until your hips meet the ground. Untucking those back toes. You can stay up here on the fingertips. You can lower down to the forearms. You can lower down to the belly. So that's your traditional pigeon. If you want to take a pigeon on your back, go ahead, come onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze. Now plant the soles of both of your feet on the ground. From here, bring your right foot on top of your left thigh, good. Now draw the left thigh towards your body, reach your arms behind the left thigh and find a bind. 
From here, use the strength of your arms to draw this left leg towards you. You'll feel a stretch in your hips. This is exactly what we're going for. Make sure your left foot is relaxed down. It doesn't need to hang up in the air. And you just breathe. Seeing if you can relax through the body, let your arms do the pulling if you're on your back. Whatever variation you're in, we settle in for a couple minutes to really allow the hips to open up. Let this be about the lower body. No need to resist in the upper body. No need to hold tension there. It's okay to let gravity hold you, support you, so you can just hang out. From here, slowly start to rise up, coming up onto the palms. If you're on your back, just switch out your legs. And if you're taking the traditional variation, we're going to move back through all fours. Maybe take a quick cat-cow. If we're moving on to the other side, it's time drawing the left knee behind the left wrist. Sweeping that left foot over and across, start to shimmy that right knee back. And you can stay right here. You can come down to the palms or the forearms. And settle in.
And from here, slowly rise up and out of the shape. If you're on your back, you can stay there. We're all going to meet you there anyway. And maybe you move through all fours. Take a quick cat cow. Before finding your way onto your back. Legs extended long, lying down on the back. From here, draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a bit of a squeeze. Take your arms to a T or cactus shape. Drop the knees over to the left, taking your gaze to the right. Inhale, everything through center. And then over to the other side. Draw everything back through center. Give yourself a squeeze. And then when you're ready, release out for that final resting shape, Shavasana. And settle in. From here, you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. If you're ready to move on with your day, lift the arms up and over for a nice big stretch, taking your time. And when you're ready, roll over onto your favorite side, resting in fetal position. And then press up and over into a nice tall seat, eyes closed, hands at your heart in prayer. We'll end class together with a breath. Inhale, fill up. 
And exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Bring your hands to your forehead and bow forward, sealing your practice. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Sandy Gone. If we have not met in person, these classes are free. If I'm live streaming a class, it is for free. I am accepting donations, however, um, on behalf of the Humane Rescue Alliance where I adopted this wonderful kitty cat and the Black Woman's Blueprint, um, an amazing charity based out of uh, New York City which helps uh, women in need. I, I can't even begin to explain all the wonderful work that they do look them up, they're fantastic. So any proceeds that come from these classes will be divided among those two causes. Hopefully you'll join me next time. All right guys, take care, enjoy.